I do want to move on to a different last frontier when we're talking about another tech company that's also reporting earnings tomorrow. So we have Apple earnings out tomorrow. And in my opinion, at least in the streaming space, the last frontier for Apple is sports. And we got a new headline out in the last 24 hours, Pete Thamel over ESPN, saying that the Pac-12 has now presented, so President George Kliakoff, or Commissioner George Kliakoff has now presented a deal to the Pac-12 teams that would allow them to be the, Apple be the exclusive streamer when they re-sign their deal after this year. Now this comes as the Pac-12 has been losing teams. Mm. USC, UCLA, major name brand schools are gonna be gone in a year. Oregon might be leaving. Colorado has left already and announced that they're leaving. So Pac-12, a little bit looking for something, some good news here, mm -hmm. but it'd be interesting, Shauna, to me to see Apple pair up with a college conference and a smaller college conference at that. It reminds me more of that MLS deal. Mm -hmm. They're not getting the SEC. Right. You get Pac-12 football that, you know, a little bit of a smaller audience. You can sort of test things out, see how football goes Yeah, for and you know, I kind of took the words out of my mouth because I was going to draw that exact <laughs> same comparison, right? They're getting into college football. They're getting that exposure. They're going for a smaller league, not one that's going to cost them nearly as much. So they right. get their footprint. They get some exposure there. Whether or not it's a good deal for Pac-12, that's also been debated yeah. out there, although we don't have to go all the way into college football here. But when it comes to Apple's play into sports, clearly if they're looking at college football, we can see that they envision in sports becoming a bigger a bigger part of their streaming offering and where that goes from here in terms of professional sports other larger college conferences that's going to be the thing to watch yeah and speaking of that impact on pac-12 if i read this right josh i mean apple does not produce the games so what does this right. ultimately mean for the cost to pac-12 will this investment you know this partnership be worth it to them at the end of the day or will it end up eating into their bottom line i mean It'd be, it'd be interesting to see sort of how it plays out, right? I think that really what it would probably do, hopefully at least for Apple, would be just get more subscribers, right? Mm -hmm. It's just getting more premium subscribers. And then I think when you think about the overall vision for Apple, and one thing I'm excited to maybe hear about on that earnings call tomorrow, is what happens with the Vision Pro headset and what the full vision is there. Because mm -hmm. it's been really interesting to me to hear Bob Iger talk about that Vision Pro headset. And Bob Iger's looking for things to do with ESPN. And you've talked about watching an NBA game on that Vision Pro headset. When you start to get broadcast deals, you can do alternative broadcasts. You can play with that headset. If you're going to sell a VR headset, VR AR headset for $3,500, put me on the field. <laughs> Let's do something cool with it. And I don't think that they're necessarily going to talk about that tomorrow, right? But they are going to talk about the future of Vision Pro and where they're going with it. Mm -hmm. And I think to see them build out that streaming product and have more pieces of content yeah. to put in the headset is part of the story.